hello guys what is up and welcome back to my channel um today we are here with a different kind of video i don't have my carpet and i don't have my nails done because this video is going to be showing you guys how i do my dip nails so um before we get started i kind of want to go over the products that i use and what we will be um using in the video so in my opinion, everybody can do this. This is simple and it will save you a ton of money by not going to the nail salon. So first, when I first started doing my dip nails, this is the brand of um, base, top, and activator that I used. I got this off Amazon and it works good. It works great. Like I used it for a long time. This is like the base kit and this one has, um, it looks really ratchet because it's old now, but this one has a couple more little do bobs in it but this was a really good um kit to start off with it has everything you need um and yeah it will do the job but recently i got these from a nail supply store near me it's called next gen next gen nails and it has all four that you need and um i prefer these a little more so, I don't know if you can get these on Amazon. I will check um, and maybe link it, but these for sure you can get on Amazon and they work great. So, when doing dip nails, you want your nails to be prepped wonderfully and you want them to be dry and you want them to be um, roughened up a little bit. So, in these sets, they did not come with like a prepper type um deal this one does and it's just kind of like alcohol it kind of just like dries the nail out and makes it ready to go you can use like plain acetone and like just put it all over your nails and then uh you'll be ready but I'm, i am going to be using this one just because i have it um you want to start by i'm going to use this one that came with the other set because that's the only one i have but you're going to want to push your cuticles back and this is going to help soften them up a little bit and make them more like pliable and easier to move. So I'm just gonna let this sit on there for a little bit. And then I will push my cuticles back. I'm probably gonna like speed up some parts of this video, so, um, but I'm still gonna tell you guys what I'm doing. Also, if my voice sounds rough, it's so early and I just kind of woke up, but I need to do my nails before I take Stella to the groomer. So that's what I'm doing because I don't have time the rest of the day. And I have work later, so I need to get them done now. All right, so I'm just putting this on all my cuticles. We'll finish up with this. And then you're gonna wanna take one of these guys, grab it. You're gonna take one of these guys. It's like a little pusher on one end and a little scraper on the other. And you're gonna wanna just push your cuticles back. So I'm gonna do that and probably speed it up a little bit. Okay guys, so now that I feel uh, good about where my cuticles are and like how my hands are prepped, uh, I am going to uh, apply this dehydrator, the prepper, just to the nails. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'm just gonna like roughen them up a tiny bit. Um, get any leftover cuticle off and just kinda roughen them up a little bit so that the powder sticks to them a little better. Okay. 
Okay guys, so now that we're all done with that, I'm gonna take my little brush and um, brush off the powder. I guess I should have kind of ran over the tools you're gonna need. You're just gonna need those two things to help your cuticles, a little brush to dust off the powder along the way, a buffer brick, and a file to shape. I got these files on Amazon in a big pack of them. They're really good. You're gonna need your bases, obviously, and now you're gonna need your powder. So, I have tested out a bunch of powders, okay? I have tested out from Amazon. I've gotten this brand. It has a lot of pretty colors, but I do not recommend this brand. Um, I have found that it just cracks, like, super fast, which is weird. So, I don't love these, and I don't really use them that often, but I just wanted to show you that. And then I've tried this brand off Amazon, which is really good. Azure. Azure. I really do enjoy this brand. I've tried this off Amazon, which is Astound Beauty. And it comes in this box. And it has all these colors. Which I really like these as well. These are a good brand. Um, looks like this. I have also tried a couple brands from the nail supply store, Kira Sky. You can also get these on Amazon or their website. These are pretty good. I have a bunch of these, or I only have three of these. I have this teal one, sparkly. Um, so I have these, and then I have this brand, which is called Deluxe Color Powder Design, and I have two bright colors. And I just had this green one on. That was what I had in my last video. And I do like these. And then I have two by this brand, which I like a lot. Easy Flow True Dip Powder. These are super good as well. And then I have this one, which I have not tried yet. Um, it's just a white. And I did get this from the beauty or the nail supply store as well. Today, however, I'm going to be trying this one out. I have not tried this brand yet. It's called Chisel, and this is supposed to be like a duochrome type color, um, OM5B. So I'm curious to try this out. Sorry, my fingerprints are like all over it. I'm curious to try this out and see how it is. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open this up. Okay. I'm kind of scared to use this one. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to find out together. Okay, so I'm going to move on to um, number two. They're mostly labeled, um, so it tells you which order. This is the base. This is what we're going to be putting down between each layer of dip, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start. You're going to want to apply a thin coat, not too thick. Get it to the cuticle. Do not flood the cuticle. Just kind of get it there. If you get it on the skin, just get it off. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip, tap it off, dip it one more time and tap it off. And that's what we have so far, a super thin coat. I usually do three rounds of this. So I'm gonna go and do the next one while this one dries a little bit. I'm gonna do both hands and then come back and do it all again. Okay, so we're gonna tr try it again. And you want to kind of dip at an angle like this. And then, um, yeah, just keep going. Okay, and now you're just going to take your brush. You can use any type of, type of little brush. And I just like to go through and dust off my fingers. And then you're going to want to dust off the tops gently. Okay, now we're going to go to the next hand. All right, guys, so I have the first layer done, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing one more time. 
And now I'm gonna be doing another one. So let's do that. Okay guys, I'm done with the third layer and I can't decide if I wanna do another one. I feel like it's still kinda of see-through. Uh, I don't know. All right guys, so now I'm going in with the activator and hardening the nails, meshing everything together. Okay guys, so now that we're done with that, we are going to file these guys. So let me just wipe this off. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on here and we're gonna file. So take our file and go on the side that has the more rough texture and we're just gonna file these into shape how we like them. I feel like I'm gonna need a new file soon, but I don't wanna mess up the camera setup. So I'm just gonna go with this file. Just file them however you think looks good and however you want it. If you want a rounded edge, do a rounded edge. If you want a square, do whatever you like. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do this and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now that I have them pretty much filed how I like them, this is what we're working with. They still look kind of rough, I know. But I'm gonna take this little sander brick and I'm just gonna go over them like this and smooth them out a little bit. Okay guys, my nails are pretty much all smoothed out and shaped the way I want them to be shaped. And now I'm gonna do one more layer of the activator and then I'm going to do the top coat. So I'm gonna let this soak in really good. And then I'm gonna do the top coat. So I'll be right back to do that. Okay guys, so I'm back to do the top coat. And what we wanna do with the top coat is, I'm gonna do one nail and then come back and do the other ones, okay? So let's just get this over with. And looking back, I probably should have done a brighter color for like demonstration's sake, but I don't know why I didn't. I just wanted to try out this color. And when you guys are doing the top coat, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not very iridescent. It's kind of just a light purple, but whatever. And when you guys are doing the top coat, make sure you like cap the end of the nail. So you want to go like this along the edge, just so it seals it in extra good. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for the top coat. Um, so yeah, I feel like they look pretty good. 
the last step is going to be I have to wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna be putting on a, um, a cuticle oil I'm gonna use this for my other uh, set that I have it's like a nourish oil they sell these at a lot of places you don't necessarily need this exact one but it's just like an oil that you're gonna put on your cuticles um, I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds for this to dry the good thing about dip is that you don't need UV light or any kind of anything, any light to like cure it. Um, once you do the top coat, it's just going to dry by itself. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds until this dries. The camera is not picking up the exact color, but it's more like a light purpley type of color. Um, but I'm not mad about how they turned out for sure. Um, so I'll be right back and put the cuticle oil on. And then you're just going to want to rub this in um, around the nail carefully. And I will probably get asked, like, how do I take this stuff off? Um, after, like, a week and a half, it starts, like, lifting a little bit. And it's honestly really easy to just pick off. Like, peel them off. I know that probably sounds bad, but it really doesn't damage your nails and um yeah so that's just how i do it i have a friend who has like one of those um what do you call it little sanders and she like gets hers off like that but this works for me so i just peel them off but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys um i hope that you see that you can do this too because it really is easy to do I'm trying to get a good clip of them, but I don't know if you can tell. That's what we're looking like, guys. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And um, it will be back to regular scheduled programming very soon <laughs> with my cash stuffing videos. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.